Okay, smiling face. Three, two, one. Yeah, good. Thank you. So, new mark, new race. New life from me. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes you go through some pretty dark periods to appreciate the light. If God was all powerful, why doesn't he stop things that are terrible like that? And it's like one of the biggest questions. When Riley was born, he had soft larynx. It got to the point where I started actually hallucinating. I was so sleep deprived. And it was just me and this baby, and it was just so unbearable. I honestly thought, I'm never gonna sleep properly again. It's so easy to get buried in your own suffering. And it seems like the only way out is to find someone else who's been through the same thing. It's amazing to see the person you're about to photograph go through such a major surgery. Hopefully we can get some really nice images so that when the patients see it, they are encouraged. I've been making a list. Um, I want to do panoramic stuff because I think that when you're focusing on other things, you can be happier taking a photograph that's to represent the baby Jesus. Well, oh, that's a big responsibility. When you're actually hit by something difficult, it's probably very easy to bash on God. I think he's strong enough to take it. It's a real relationship. It's not some detached, powerful thing that you can't interact with. God isn't behind all this bad stuff, which is the most important thing. I got an appointment with a doctor before school and um, she said it's incurable. And I thought, oh, OK. I didn't want to be the cancer person. My dad died when I was in my teens, and I knew what it was like to live without a parent. I had no fear. God had my family. I was going to him, and that was OK. Visiting the hospital and seeing the way these people deal with amazing suffering, with a lot of thankfulness, a lot of hope and joy and just, it's at another level. No matter what happens in this earth, no matter how terrible it is, God himself came and suffered. It's something that he endures with us. The suffering we're experiencing in this lifetime, even if it's immense, not even compared to the amount of amazing things we have in our future. When things are made new again, as the doctor said to me once, Karen, there are things way worse than dying, and living without hope is worse than dying.